This is now our third video looking at the locus of a complex number. In the last video, we looked at perpendicular bisectors in the form the mod of z minus a was equal to k multiplied by the mod of z minus b. In all of those cases, the value of k was equal to 1. When the value of k is equal to 1, we end up with a perpendicular bisector. When k is a real number but not equal to 1, we end up with a circle. We're going to look at those cases in this video. And I'm going to start off with a, a relatively straightforward example of this. We're going to have now the mod of z minus 5 plus 4i is equal to two lots of the mod of z. And then we'll go for minus 2 plus i. What we're going to be asked to do in an exam is convert this to Cartesian form and then sketch the locus of z. If we go back to our understanding of z, we know that this is equal to x plus i, y. I'm going to convert this now to Cartesian form. So rewriting the moduli, collecting the real parts, x minus 5 plus i, the quantity y plus 4, and then that's going to be equal to two lots of the modulus of now x minus 2 plus i, the quantity y plus plus 1. Please do go back if that is all new to you so you can uh, understand what's going on here. I'm now going to remove the moduli and I'm going to do this step by step as one of the common errors is not to square the value of k. So let's now look at this. Removing the moduli I'm going to have the square root of the quantity x minus 5 all squared plus the quantity y plus 4 all squared and that's going to be equal to two lots of the square root of the quantity x minus 2 all squared plus the quantity y plus 1 all squared. So if we just square both sides, we're going to end up now with x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 4 all squared will be equal to four lots of x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared. All we're left to do now is express this in Cartesian form and get it as an equation of a circle. So left hand side, let's expand this out. x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16 will be equal to, and I'm going to multiply through by the 4, I think, 4x squared. Then we're going to have, that's going to be minus 16x plus 16 plus 4y squared plus 8y plus 4. Uh, so let's now set the left hand side to 0. Let's get an x squared and a y squared off both sides. 3x squared plus 3y squared. We've got minus 10x minus 16x. So adding 10x to both sides, minus 6x. Uh, we've got plus 8y plus 8y. So the 8y is going to go. On this side, uh, what well, we've got 25 and 16, and on this side we've got 16 and 4. So if I uh, the 16s are going to go, and uh, let's take the um, take the 25 off. So that's going to give me now minus 21. That works out quite nicely as it divides through by 3. So 0 is going to be equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 7. Completing the square, x minus 1 all squared minus 1 plus y squared minus 7 is equal to the 0. Uh, and then just rearranging in the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. We end up with x minus 1 all squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 8. So we can see from this that this is going to be a circle. We're going to have now the center at what's that going to be 1 comma 0. And then the radius is going to be equal to the root of 8 or 2 root 2. So if you wanted to sketch that, uh, you would simply get your Cartesian xy plane up. Uh, I think that looks straight. And then we would get a circle. Let's put a circle on. Something looking approximately. Don't, don't worry about if it's not hugely accurate as long as you've got some values on here. What we've got then is this point and this point is going to be 1 comma 0. This point now, remember the radius is uh, 2 root 2. So you might just want to say that that's 1 plus 2 root 2, and then you're going to have now 1 
minus 2 root 2 and you might just want to put a, a radius on and put the values up here and up here and this is going to be 2 root 2. So there we go, that is um, a sketch of the locus. Now let's go back to this point right here and just read what this is saying. The distance from the complex number now 5 minus 4i is 2 lots of the distance of the same complex number from 2 minus i. So what we're looking at then is this is going to be double the difference. What I'm going to do is draw this up and hopefully it will make some sense. You can go through this purely algebraically, but often having an understanding of what's going on is, is helpful, I suppose. So let's, let's get this point. This is going to be 5 minus 4. So let's pop this point on. So let's put this point on here. So we have 5 minus 4i, which is going to be just here. Okay, and then also what we had was this one, which is going to be 2 minus i. So if we put that on, 2 minus i is going to be just here. So these are our two points. So if we had an argon diagram, they would be the two points right here. Now the circle, we found the circle to be x minus 1 all squared plus y squared is equal to 8. So that gives the circle 1 comma 0 and a radius of 2 root 2. I'm now going to draw that on here. So let's grab up a circle. So there it is, that's our 1, 0, and what we're going to have is something that's going to look, let's, that looks about right. Now, consider what we've got here. We've got these two complex uh, numbers, A and B. These are fixed points. The locus of Z is now the circumference of this circle. And if we look at this, let's grab one of these, and we'll put this point on here. Let's just, let's just put it here. We will see that the distance from the complex number B to the circumference is half the distance as a from the uh, from a to the circumference. These points are not moving. And a nicer way to see this, if we trace this round, this length now, so EA or AE is always going to be the same as BE. Uh, so it's, it's going to be twice as much. And you can see it perfectly at that point where it crosses. This length, if we take this to be 1, is going to be root 2, and that's going to be 2 root 2. If we go around here, we can see now that it's going to be double and that's perfectly spot on. So this is what it will do. It will trace out a circle and the complex number Z will sit somewhere on here. So it might be there, it might be there. It's just now a locus of all of those points. So there we go. That's, uh, let's just leave that somewhere around there. That's now the form where we've got X, uh, sorry, the modulus of Z minus A is equal to K multiplied by the modulus of Z minus B when K is a real number and it's not equal to 1. We'll do some more examples of this in future videos, um, but if you just want to go it and manipulate it algebraically, that will give you now your uh, quick sketch and your Cartesian form.